Extraterrestrials was released on the Atari 2600 by Skill Screen Games in 1984. And no, this isn't the infamous E.T. the Extraterrestrial. That game was released the year prior, contributing greatly to the crash of 83. So if this is post-crash, then this has to be a simple coincidence that a game called Extraterrestrials came out after. But, uh, I don't know. This looks a little familiar, doesn't it? They let you pick between four different aliens you can use. But come on, this is fucking E.T. But why, though? Why would you rip off a game that was a complete failure that nearly sank the industry? Not to mention that this lazy maze layout indicates we're ripping off Pac-Man 2. Obviously not nearly as blatantly. I mean, there were a ton of maze games as a result of Pac-Man, some of which were very good. But it is hilarious how this is borrowing from E.T. and from Pac-Man, whose 2600 port was also deemed a failure that set the Atari back. But anyway, let's put all that bullshit aside and look at the game for whatever the hell it actually is. First off, it's a two-player only game, which is unusual for good reason. You should always be able to play any game by yourself if need be. And this game was totally capable of including a CPU opponent. How it works is, player one is E.T., the, the extraterrestrial, and the other is the ranger. As the ranger, you need to catch the alien, and as the alien, you have to find your invisible friend. You obviously can't see your invisible friend, but they drop candy periodically that you can pick up, and it indicates where Elliot, or the invisible friend is. And that's pretty much it, just a cat and mouse game. Finding Elliot and picking up the candy adds a little something, but it isn't much. It's otherwise just a game of tag. No power-ups, items, or difficulty variations. To make matters worse, navigating around this pseudo-maze just sucks. Not that you get lost, I mean you can see the entire thing in front of you, but these squeezes must be super tight because you have to be in pixel perfect position to wedge your way between these walls sometimes. The simple act of moving your player from point A to point B should not be the game's biggest challenge, but aside from keeping your attention, there aren't any bigger challenges in this game. I do think it's cool that you can compete against each other. Too many games have only the alternating mode for two players, which is an unfortunate cop-out for calling a game multiplayer. So this game does have that going for it, but it should have been an option, not a requirement. This game feels like it was unfinished and just released as is. I don't recommend it at all, but it's super rare. Just owning a copy is a collector's cream dream. Selling you wisdom from a plexiglass prism Biochemical tism, get you into this rhythm They act like Earth was terrestrial prison